Hey friends. So we got this question recently from Becca that says websites are monsters and become Frankenstein after years of adding and chopping without doing an entire overhaul. How do you prioritize fixing the Frankenstein among so many stakeholders? Becca, this is a great question. And when we hear all the time, we actually call these sites Franken sites for that exact reason. They end up just sort of over the years being these cobbled together messes that become really unruly and difficult to manage. Um, so a few thoughts here. First of all, typically this is happening in our experience in situations where the website is a few years old, at least sometimes it's older than that. Um, and there's been too many cooks in the kitchen over the years, right? Like they, there's too many voices. There's too many sort of approaches or philosophies around how to use the website and the role that it's playing in the organization. And a lot of times there's also some confusion around the primary audience, maybe different website administrators had different um, sort of beliefs on who the website was for and the role that it was playing for the organization and for the community. So in terms of fixing this without doing an entire overhaul, Generally speaking, I start with getting really clear on the audience. Who is the primary audience for the website? Ideally, one or two. I know that can be really difficult, especially with bigger organizations. Um, but if there is a primary audience or, or two that you can really uh, hone in on, that's usually a really helpful place to start. And then you can, of course, outline a bunch of secondary audiences. But just getting really clear on the primary audience has a couple of benefits. First, it lets you ask the really kind of targeted questions around um, what challenges are they facing? Why do they turn to us? How can we help in ways that other organizations can't, which becomes what we call your differentiated value. And it also lets you look at the various website decisions you need to make through the lens of what's going to be most beneficial to that uh, select group of people. So instead of trying to answer every question about your website, you can really hone in on what they need, what they care about, and uh, what's going to be most useful in their particular case. Now, the other thing I would say here is a lot of times you're going to end up consolidating pages or deleting old pages. Um, that is great. I think that's usually a really important part of, of reigning in a Franken site. But just make sure that you're implementing redirects when you do that. Um, you want to make sure that visitors don't end up on dead pages. You don't end up with a bunch of broken links across the website. And um, you pass as much search value from those pages that you're going to be deleting as you possibly can to the most logical next place uh, that you're redirecting folks to. So um, those are called 301 redirects. The way that you do that on your website is going to depend on the technology that's powering it and what kind of access you have, but reach out to whoever is, um, you could start with your host. If you have a developer that you have a relationship with, um, or a company that's, um, helping with the website, I would start with them and just ask what it's going to take. We also actually recently did a whole webinar about auditing a website and there's a bunch of framing questions in there and a, a template document that you can use to audit your site. I would also use that just to help um, whether you use our template or you create your own is, is, uh, I won't take it personally if you create your own, but just kind of following the process we outline in there, I think would also help with prioritizing the changes that, um, you need to make on your Franken site. Eventually you probably will end up building a new website, but hopefully this helps you uh, push off the need to do that a little bit longer and extend the lifetime of your existing site. So I hope that's helpful. Um, we're actually going to be answering more questions like this on an ongoing basis. I think um, if this is useful, let me know. And if you have other questions, let me know that too. Uh, I'm always looking for, for questions like this one from Becca that are really insightful and, and reflective of questions we get asked all the time. So um, thank you, Becca, for being the first uh, to, to ask a question like this. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon.